Hey friends, welcome to Vinylize. I'm Jarrett New, and today we're gonna to be talking about buying records online, like on Amazon. You know, what are the pros and cons and my overall views on the subject? Also, I made another video about buying records in person, which is kind of like the first part of this video. So if you haven't seen that yet, I highly recommend you check it out. Okay, first let's talk about the pros of buying records online. When you buy records online, there's usually a much greater selection than you would find at any given record shop. You'll be able to find rare records online that wouldn't be as readily available in person. So that's really cool. And this is one of the main reasons I get records online from Amazon, which is probably one of the biggest vinyl distributors in the world at the moment. Also, buying some records online can be even cheaper than in a store because a lot of websites stock their inventory in bulk and therefore the prices are lower. Then obviously there's the convenient aspects of buying records online, such as spending less time finding what you need and not having to drive, which saves you gas money. Also, you won't need to hassle with parking, which is a huge problem in LA, and there's not gonna be crowds or lines or loud environments to deal with either. So all of those things I see as major benefits to buying your records online. But now let's talk about the cons. The biggest one is that you can't actually inspect the vinyl before you buy it. And that is obviously the huge drawback of buying records online. Because if you order a record online and it arrives broken or scratched or badly warped, you're gonna feel like you've been robbed. <laughs> And then to return that record and get your money back, you're gonna have to mail it back to them, which involves getting in your car, spending gas, which you are trying to avoid, and then shipping the record back. There's also the fact that you have to wait for shipping, or if you're returning, then you still have to wait for them to receive the record and then credit you back. So it's all this waiting that can definitely become annoying. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I'm impatient and I just want things to happen right now. So waiting is definitely something you have to keep in mind. Also, besides Besides waiting, there's another huge drawback of buying online. You can't crate dig. And I really feel that crate digging through the record bins is one of the best ways to discover new music that you hadn't planned on. I was actually just listening to Kevin Hearn's Cloud Maintenance the other day, and honestly, I remember thinking to myself, I'm so glad I found this in the dollar bin at Amoeba because this is a fantastic album. So crate digging is a super fun part of the vinyl record collecting hobby, and speaking personally, it's part of that tangible experience that got me into records in the first place. So when you buy online, you're essentially missing out on all of that, which is not as fun. Also, speaking to the social aspect of record collecting, when you buy your records online, you're not building those friendships with fellow customers and staff members at the record shops, and it is kind of nice when you find other people that share your same hobby, so keep that in mind as well. Now, regardless of the cons I just mentioned, I still love buying records online because of the convenience and the selection. But I felt it's important for you guys to know both the pros and cons before you choose to buy online. Do you like buying online or visiting record shops in person? Let me know in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video, join the vinyl revolution, give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe because I'm gonna be coming out with a lot of great videos every week that you're not gonna wanna miss. Be sure to find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and more. All the links are in the description below and most importantly friends, keep spinning that vinyl.